In the Word Builder series, the student will work to combine phonetic sounds to decode words, build his fine motor skills, improve his spelling, and build fluency by reading story booklets in class. Parental interaction is essential when the child is reading a word list aloud each day. The student will complete four pages per day. In Word Builder's Booklet D, the student will learn to decode words that have short U. On the word list, have the student sound out each letter and say the word. Always do the words located in the review box first. You may guide the child to decode the word by tracing your finger along the arrow. The child should read the word like this. Hit. Hit. Encourage the student to read the word faster each time. The words on the word list that are not located in the review box are the main focus of this book's concept. Here, the child will sound out the word to work on decoding. The student needs to repeat each word three times. Each time, he should try to read it faster than the time before. Again, you may trace your finger along the arrow to provide guidance for the decoding process. The student should read the word like this. Run. Run. On this activity, the student will say each group of words, then write the word under the correct picture in that row. Here, the student would read aloud the first group of three words, nut, bug, and bus. For each word, the student will find the matching pictures in that row. Once he finds that correct picture, he should then write the matching word underneath the picture, then cross out the used word. In this exercise, the student will identify the picture, then choose the correct spelling of the word describing that picture. The student should ask himself, is this a picture of a cup or a cap? Once he decides which is the correct spelling, he will circle the correct word, then write that word underneath the picture. This is the part of the Word Builders books where fine motor skills are trained and perfected. Use the arrows and numbers as guidance on how to correctly form each letter. Here, the student will work on more fine motor development. Have the student trace each letter in the correct form while saying the sound, and then blend the sounds together to form the word. In this activity, the student will work on fine motor while also practicing the looking ahead technique. When decoding words and reading in general, being able to look ahead is what leads to an exceptional fluency level. Here, the student will trace through the maze to connect the pictures. Nonsense words will be seen on word lists throughout this series. Nonsense words are an excellent way to practice the decoding technique. While these are not real words, they are still just as important to practice as the rest of the word list. Have the student sound out each letter and try to read the word faster each time he reads it. The student should read the nonsense word like this. Yuff. Yuff. After each book is completed, there will be a classwork test done in class with a Gideon instructor to determine mastery so the student may move on. The student must make four or less mistakes in order to pass. For any further questions or explanations, please contact your Gideon instructor.